Okay, you guys, I'm here to review Godzilla Raids again. This is the sequel to Gojira, or Godzilla, from 1954. And this film also sees the return of Dr. Yumani from the first film. Okay, so the, basically the story begins with a rescue mission. A pilot goes to rescue another pilot whose, engi whose engines have failed, and he lands on the ocean floor on this island. I, I don't know what it's called. I don't know how to pronounce it until I watch the English version. Um, but once he lands there and finally rescues him, the two discover two monsters fighting up there in the snow with a roar similarly identical to that of Godzilla. And when they finally discover that this is Godzilla, um, the word comes in that how the hell would this Godzilla even be still alive when he was killed a year ago. Um, Dr. Yumani makes this clear in the original cut of Gorgira when he was thinking to himself that there could have been a, a possibility that there were a, that there was two Godzillas created from the hydrogen bombs or the H bombs basically and his fruition has come to light as this is the second Godzilla monster to come from that H bomb basically so basically this is the ancestor to the original 1954 Godzilla but this Godzilla is much shorter than that Godzilla and much uglier looking. I, I gotta say, this is the worst Godzilla suit I've seen in a Godzilla film. And I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a video about the worst Godzilla suits. Cause I'm pretty sure there will be more to come. So we're just getting into the second film here. So yeah. But also they see the re they see the revival of another creature. A creature named Agarudis. I think I had his name right that it's like a ancient dinosaur that was supposedly had died out but was probably also created by the H-bomb not more like Godzilla but in a sense they kept it alive and it woke it up basically out of its out of their sleep so the two monsters are just battling each other then they both fall into the ocean basically and Yumani makes it clear that the original Godzilla did not like light at all the flash of light make him more angry and more aggressive so they use this idea and the idea of shape of flares so they they turn off every lights around the city where Godzilla appears and drop flares from their jets this eventually works as it leads Godzilla back into the ocean okay but when a mining I mean when a plant goes up in flames Godzilla, Godzilla sees it and heads over there and the flares does not work because the blinding flash of fire has him coming to land and who else comes to land with them? Agrutus, Agrutus, of course, and the two battle and while they're battling they destroy another part of Tokyo in the process but not as badly as the as it was destroyed in the first film they destroy probably like the docking area partly city landscapes of it probably like the whole entire docking facility and parts of other buildings that are in that vicinity but not like the entire city of Japan like he did in the first film and uh, basically um, once Godzilla has defeated Agrudis the military scrambles to find a way to kill Godzilla since basically Sarazawa has killed himself and he finally they finally revealed what his first name is I can't pronounce it to save my ass but yeah I'm not even gonna try and butcher his name for the respect of Japanese people alone that made this awesome creature so he's just gonna be Sarazawa for me or Dr. Sarazawa since he's gone and there's no more oxygen destroyer they have to find up a new win a new means to kill him this leads them to believe that hey why not bury him in a bunch of ice and that's what they do and that's how they defeat Godzilla for now <laughs> So, this movie was fucking awesome. I, I liked it. I liked the Japanese cut. I'm getting ready to watch the English cut, which I heard so many terrible things about it. No boy. If it's really that bad, I don't think I may, I don't even think I may even finish it. I may half-ass it, watch it, read about what, what else is next, and see what the fuck. But I heard this is like a completely different cut of Godzilla Raids again. But with that being said, I'm going to give Godzilla Rays again an A. I liked it. I thoroughly enjoyed this film. 
and everybody should watch Godzilla Rays again. And if you've seen Godzilla Rays again, let me know what you think about it down below. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? Do y'all agree that this suit was very ugh, ugly looking? Because it was for me. So yeah, on to the next one. See ya.